Good evening here. Welcome here to my place. Um, I'm going to do my Wednesday Bible reading. Um, I know I'm slacking on Sundays again, but hopefully I'll get to that. But um, I'm, I'm proud of myself that I'm able to be here Wednesday for now till things get to better. I mean, things are good, but, you know, sometimes it just life gets in the way. But anyways, let me go ahead and read Revelation chapter 19. And I did get some new glasses. I actually got four four new pair that came in this. I got them off Amazon and they do work pretty good. So bless my soul for that. And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Alleluia, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. For true and righteousness are his judgment. For he had judged a great whore which did carpet the earth with her flirtation and had averaged the blood of his serpent and her hand. And again, they said, Alleluia, and her smoke rose up for ever and ever, and the four and twenty elderlies and the four beasts fell down and worship God that sat on the thorn saying amen, amen alleluia and the voice came out of the thorn saying praise our God all ye his serpent and ye that fear him both small and great and I heard as it were the voice of a great and as the voice of many waters and as the voice of mighty thundering sand. Alleluia for the Lord. God, let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the Lamb is come and his wife had made herself ready. And to hear and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine lines, clean and white for the fine lines in the righteousness of saints. And he said unto me, Right, right bless our thy which are called unto the marriage super of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the the true saying of God. And I felt that I felt at his feet to warn ship him. And he said unto me, See thou, do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus worship. God for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True and in Righteousness. He dove, judge, and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a dip in blood, and his name is called the world of God. And uh, which were in heaven follow him unto white horse, clothes and fine, line white and clean. And out of his mouth goes a sharp sword that with it he sh should smite, smite, smite the nation and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treated the winepress of the fireness and warmth of Almighty God. And he had on his Vester and on his thing a name written King of Kings and Lord of Lords 
And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves to gather unto the supper of the of great God, <clears throat> that ye may eat the flesh of king, and the flesh of car carpens, and the flesh of mighty men, and the flesh of horses horse, and then that sat on them, and the flesh of all men, both free and bond, both small and great, and I saw the beast and the king of the earth, and there are my gather together to make war against him that sat on the horse, and again his army, and the beast was taken, and with him, the false prophet, that wrong miracles before him, with which deceive, deceive them that had received the mark of the beast, and then that worship his imagine. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstones, and the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, which soared out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. And that is it. That is it for um, Revelation 19. Hopefully, I'll be able to read Revelation 20. I will say a prayer, and I'm going to go. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in prayer. I thank you for this day of life. I thank you for everything that you've given me and my family. I thank you for giving us this beautiful world, and I pray that we can get this climate change under control this year, Heavenly Father, with the help of all of us. And I also pray that you continue to help me understand the Bible, because Lord, I know there's never enough to learn in the Bible. There's always something new to learn, and I just pray that you help me to um, help others, or, you know, just read to others so they can understand you better and enjoy you, and enjoy your word, Heavenly Father. And I say all this in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Well, I hope you all enjoyed these um, Bible reading today. If you did, please feel free to give me a like. Um, hit the thumbs up as it does. Yeah, give me a like as it does help with the channel. Um, may y'all have a happy New Year's and bye-bye for now.